line, especially on the attack side when he entries in, especially towards yellow. Oh, he's getting active again. Trying to get ahead of things. Oh. But Woods, the one who walks away with two. Yes. Speak of the devil. That's a good as start as you could ask for. It seemed like Genji wanted to stop the momentum before Heretics could get to a fever pitch to get to a, a swelling point. Icebox map, because if you're already denying Genji that early aggression, it's going to make them play a little differently. And when you take players off of their game, I mean, that's when mistakes are made. That's when you have an opportunity to maximize on those mistakes. You can tell for Genji there, the objective was not just necessarily to win the pistol, but it was to make a statement because Breeze wasn't enough. But <laughs> well handled by Heretics now. They're going to flip the map, head back A, undetected by the turret. They've got one of their own. Benji Fishy's posted his up, but Karen's on the prowl. Is he going to smoke it off? I don't think he has a smoke available yeah, to do so. Yeah. But that knife landing, that opens up the window of opportunity for the flank. Decides to not go left. for it, though. Yeah, decides to go back mid and try to approach things from a more conventional manner. Meteor trying to post up on site. The dart is cleared. Boot is cleared. Oh. A little bit more found for Meteor and Munchkin getting in on it, but Boo responds with two. Kara, who was the late flank, converts for Genji. Meteor once more. The anchor that you could wish for. That molly, like it was all signs leading towards a heretic's win. I mean, from the beginning all the way through, texture again, aggressive. I love the pace that Genji are playing with so far. Yeah, even though they got punished on the pistol, when you secure a round like that, the confidence is back. Now you're willing to keep going for more. And Genji, they're reading into this. They're ahead of it, playing a bit of a retake setup on that A site. Boo! was the hero in the last round. He was the one who was able to secure it for Gen G, but now sitting on the sideline, forced to watch, forced to wait. Textures on the swing, the marshal wow. goes two. And there's plenty more where that came from. But it's Meteor who takes one away. The spike hits the ground. Pat attack three ends. We'll have to force this thing back, and they've gotten into a 2v2, but with Sheriff Soul, they're converting on this. And Texture snatches this thing back. Can he avoid catastrophe early on? He's gotten one. Rians with the dart, they know where he is. On the swing into the Marshall connects the shots. The Red Bull clutch in the 4K for Texture. Texture on fire with that Marshall. He'll but it was a really, um, it. really expensive round, I would what say. What shots? That's Freeze, exactly. Icebox, it does not matter. It's all the same. Texture will not be denied. And again, getting active. Again, looking to make a statement. Has to dash away with 25 HP. Thinks twice about the re-aggress. I think part of the play was getting him involved there. Munchkin getting spotted by the drone. Has to give the space back and texture on the nice. swing. I mean, he's a madman. He's 25 HP doing that. He stuck around for so long to support his teammate in Nest. And all of a sudden, a rifle swap. Now Munchkin, he has full HP. He's able to have that M4. Phantom. Pugnacious protocols from Gen G at the beginning of the round. It's been so smothering for heretics. But yes, they're down in numbers. They have such a strong weapon advantage here, though. It's just the Phantom, it's just the Guardian on the side of the defense, like you were saying. No way, right, Doug? No way. <sighs> no way. You're absolutely right. But Lucky filling in right on the here. space behind it. You surely you're not expecting a second there. Crispy from Karan. Lucky might be able to cause a lot more problems. If the timing is right, he's got a little bit of utility, but it does not look like it will go checked. It does not look like wow. it will go checked. It falls. Committing to the plan now. Last player standing. Nice. It's oh all on the move. Yeah, he hit another. Turns away the flash. He's getting spammed. Getting peppered. There's no way for Boo to go. Another round stolen away by Genji. Doug, we are seeing... A Gen G that is so online and ready for this. They want it so bad. Carrying the scrimmage a little bit further up. Of course they will. You see the flash, you see the darts. 410 is theirs. <laughs> They're just staying here. They do not care whatsoever. He's expecting the swing. Rocks the dash. And me nice. Karen over the top, getting the best of boot. That was the hero rifle. That was supposed to be the firework in the round. Look at Texture's timing on the swing. Wow. And Lakia as well. What? 
Ryan's able to get a little bit of something going on here, though. What? And they're all hunting. They oh. all know he's there. Locky is messing with him. Spike down. Attacker spawned. They are different, right? That was funny, Locky. Yeah. This is a different Gen G. We haven't seen this at all this tournament. They're running it down. Lakia jump swinging for his entire team. All four members are on top of the bomb right now, and Boo. He's gonna be left to his devices, but he really ha doesn't have much to work with here. No, not at all. Still deals a little bit of damage onto Munchkin, but <laughs> it's traded back. That Phantom is just getting if the best. You turn the KO flash, the Gecko flash is hitting you, and vice versa. So it's just, it can be so difficult if you're caught in the open like that. And more aggression. Texture is so aggressive this series. Oh, oh that was so unlucky. Left, but Boo was able to stand strong. That was so close. A little bit of the aggression punish. The question is, how did Genji respond oh, on that? Okay. Where did they play elsewhere on the map? Meteor is going to fall B. So they have now found success on both sides. Lucky of the one close by. Here the orb was picked up. And now utility out. The flash over the top. The dart is there. Lakia able to stay covered behind the wall. You're not able to hide from that. You're not able to run from it. How much more can they do? They've gotten the spike down, but Munchkin and Karen are so unnumbered right now. Spam not connecting. Munchkin manages to get away. And yeah, they're just going to go back. Try to save that operator that got taken down early on for texture in the next round. Yeah. Their economy is good though, so maybe you'll see Munchkin try to go for a couple exits. Get closer to that ult orb, but then if you look at the ult economy on the other side, I mean, he might not want to die at all because you might be feeding a KO ult, you might right. be feeding a Soba ult. Yeah, you don't want to give those away. Oh, he missed the jump for the up. Unlucky. I think he should be able to snag that one. I don't know that it's, you gotta hurry. Don't miss, oh, he makes it. Second time's the charm. Nothing to worry about oh. Gen G though. Your economy is still flourishing. And the aggression. What's wrong with the stream? Used to come. So bold, so disrespectful. <laughs> Refusing to let heretics find any traction. And you don't expect the same peak twice. I mean, he got punished the last round. Why is he going for it again? That's what heretics are thinking. Because it's texture. Munchkin getting overwhelmed there. A little over eager on that one. Yeah, that aggression starting to punch them a little bit. Heart destroyed. And I think if there's going to be a way back into this map for heretics, it has to be off of those things. They have to find a way to punch back. Yeah, you have to punish. Things slow down here for heretics. They've lost boot. They've lost their star. They've lost their go. A counter on the thrash and a counter on the up. Boo again. Benji Fishy getting involved. Meteor's going to join the party late. One away from his ult. Spotting pad attack, not able to land the shots, not able to find lethality. But with four surrounding the site, four surrounding the spike. Meteor, no room is safe. Okay. And this is a textbook this play. Much earlier in the schedule compared to what we saw in Breeze. It's a little while before there was any cause for hope. But now Heretic's injecting a little bit of space into the situation. Starting to bully and starting to invest utility to keep that aggression back from Texture, who's sitting on the opposite side of the, of the map right now. The lockdown used. Heretics now have a question they have to answer, and they don't have a ton of time to answer. Do you choose to fight? Do you try to clear it, or do you take a step back? And if you go the other way, which Genji, that's what they want you to do. You're going to run into Texture, but the double back from Heretics, that's a smart play so far from them. KO Dagger back and online. Munchkin will get the info. Tag on the three members of Heretics. The time is running down a little bit low here, Doug. Well, with 50 seconds left, I think a couple of options they can consider. Do they stay here? Or do they try to flip? Yeah, there's a good chance there's an op on the other side, but the persistence might be a factor. He's invested in it, and Lakia has a meal of it, but Heretics is there to respond. The lockdown will go off. Texture will show up, but he will be late. With op in hand and blades. In case he decides to invest. In case he decides to go for a play. They just don't have the same financial luxury they did before. 
Yeah, and Heretics in these post-plant scenarios, they play it very disciplined. That's how they've been winning a lot of the matches they've done. Part of the fundamentals, part of that macro gameplay that I was talking about. And that's why you see Texture not even going for it. Had Heretics maybe pushed up a little bit and he got a kill, maybe that could be a window of opportunity. Pop those knives, go in. But they're not giving him anything. Yeah, that 1v2 feels much easier to try to navigate. Yeah. And it's a big, big contrast from the start of this match so far, Doug. Mm -hmm. Heretics, they were getting punished by that aggression from Gen G. Now, they've slowed it down, they figured it out. Whether the storm of all the utility and the swings on A side. But Heretics, they're just they're playing it very well right now. Early turn cleared. Oh. Heretics are coming to life here. It's a very similar setup. It's been on texture to send a shutter down the spine of Heretics. Now he's the one sitting on the sidelines. What can Lakia do? It's so quiet right now. Do Genji continue to regress? And if they do, Benji Fish is playing anti. There's two players, even Ian's, yeah. is playing anti. And I think that he'll pop the Sovault from all the way back here to catch out anybody in that lane of fighting. Yeah, if they commit, Yeah. if they send. We've talked about how good this flash combo has been from Maki and Munchkin. So nice so giving things away. I don't even think he meant to hit the knife there. I think it was first sight, but it works out in their benefit. It tagged both players. And that forces Genji to have to back up. And if Heretics will just continue to push forward off of that. They've got Boo with his pit, but he's a little bit further back. Knife clear, dart out, Heretics forward. It's just Munchkin who's playing backside. Lakia is a little bit further off, and he is the first to fall. Pat attack with three, Heretics with life. Flash on the swing around, another one spotted. Pat attack more concerned with his positioning. More concerned with the problems he's able to cause from there. Still has a knife in hand. Median Karn forced to watch, forced to sit back. Because how do you get into a 2v4? And this is where the position was so good, but Karen's able to decapitate him. A one for one, though, and now the Viper's the only one who stands. Tries to get away and can't. We're tied at four. Pat attack. Aggression again. Texture up high. Blades online. Looking for a scalp, and we'll find one. And again, the double dip. Can he take over the round? He's done so all series. He's found two, and look at Lakia's position. He's got behind them. Yeah. Boo never saw, Boo never had a shot. But now position given away, and Lakia gladly takes the fight. Again, the aggression. Again, the offense. Rians, a miserable spot to be in. Out of charges. A 1v4, and yeah, it's pistols. But what a round win for Gen G. In the face of the momentum that was swelling the way of the attack. Online. Gen G are ridiculous. Another kill found. Another line drawn in the sand. Three left on the side of the attack, and as soon as it starts, it feels like it's over. This response from Gen G has been clinical, fully committed to believing and trusting in the process. Yeah, they're gonna be able to counter some of our aggression, but we're not backing down from the plan. And that's so hard to do as a player, to keep that mental up. I mean, it's human, I mean, it's human response and human reaction to pivot, to go to plan B when plan A isn't working anymore. But when you've got a star like Texture. Full trust in the team, full trust in the game plan. Can reap the benefits of that. That's what we're seeing right now for Gen G. They should be able to convert this round. I say that, but there is a Viper's pit available for the side of Team Heretics. Boo, if you can get this one down, they might be able to maybe steal this one away and pull a fast one on Gen G. And maybe a 3v5 with Benji Fishy hitting mid late, but. Oh. Spike down B. I just don't know that there was really any way in a flawless round as Gen G gets a six. Yeah, they tried to keep creep on up. Try to just continue to get smaller and smaller. 
into round 11 we go. Two rounds separating them. Three ults on the side of Heretics. Four, excuse me. And they're big ones too. Genji, again, with aggression. It's a little bit different. The flavor's different, but the outcome's the same. There's nowhere that Heretics can find safety. How did they get that kill? There's nowhere that they can find room to breathe. They've been squelched, they've been suffocated, they've been stymied. They're so willing to just leave Texture on an island by himself. He's been popping off all game long. It allows you to have a four-man setup on A early on and allows Texture to just enable in the mid-round. Oh. He tries to switch position on the map. And again, the op you mentioned on the other side punishes, but they found a little bit of space here. But again, as soon as they find space, Dre, you're staring up a, a ridiculous mountain. Yeah, you got your one. Yeah, you got some space. It's still a 2v4. It's still a 3v5. Let alone a thrash invested on top of it. I mean, what can you do? 30 seconds left. Boo with so many angles to cover, so many targets to find, so many things to consider. Paranoid tries to do what he can to fill the void. And there's a swing through the wall. Meteor perhaps a little over ambitious, perhaps a little aggressive, but it's still a song of success for Genji. Playing together. Genji faced heartbreak in Madrid. So close. The glimpse of glory that you mentioned. But fell a bit short. This is a team that's playing with a different level of fire, a different level of ferocity. You've got the op over the top. Pat attack down again. No. The ults have been invested. Patatek will join the fold once more. Once divided, now reunited. Yeah. Genji try to hold the line, and if they try to flip back, if Heretics try to find safe passage to the other side of the map, Meteor's there. He hasn't been as ridiculous on this map, but he was a terror on Breeze. This time, not given a shot, not finding value. Texture's able to pick off boot, but they understand now. The veil has been lifted. The hit is A. Full focus forward for Heretics. Gen G, they have a couple members here to answer back. If they can get the pit down from Boo, if they can find a little bit of space, there's a shot at this. But Karen is one of his own. To now green on both sides. Planted. Such little to be seen. You should run. Now the third ult invested. Just injecting more chaos into the situation. What can tip the scales? What can find some space? Texture dropping into the pit, dropping into the next half. Lock in a 1v3 with the pit still up. We'll fall. Patatek gets his third as Heretics get to five. Hey. And now it's Gen G, who again were so bellicose in the first half. Now it's on them, and they have a lot more room to be able to dictate the pace. A little bit of info gathered, but perhaps a false sense of security. Where that other player might be. Flash over the top. Benji Fishy not on the swing. Texture falls. That's a big one, Dre. Who other? The man is still here. He's still firing. Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. Lockyer will hunt you down. Meteor getting in on it as well. Again, a pistol. It's so desperately needed to go to wave. Uh. It's just ending in a whimper. Even the plant that doesn't get seen from heaven. Small things like this. It's all going their way. They're aware of all the possibilities right now. Last player standing. Nice trading on the site from Munchkin. And that dagger does connect on a boost. So that's full info gathered from Gen G. I mean, he even tried stepping it. Just a little short on it. Now realizing there's no way to go but forward. There's no option but to fight. A 1v3 has become a 1v2. But Karn saves the day for Gen G. Be sure it's not my net. And when Gen G sees something they to like. play against right now, every team has tried to figure it out. And they just can't. But Boo can figure out how to take the head off the texture with that sheriff. Remember, he died at the beginning of the previous round, too. Poor lad. Problem with the buy for, for heretics right now is there is none. So they have to be so much more concerned and so much more invested in moving as a pack. Strength in right numbers. 
That opening kill for Boo could open up the retake for them, though. Here. Kind of makes you scared on the attacker's side. You don't want to go back and have to re-clear all that A main. If you do, you might get picked off as well. An early tap here from Gen G, trying to bait out any utility, but nobody from Heretics showing a single damn thing, Doug. Patient, trying to lure Gen G into fully committing. Trying to have them step all the way into the trap before they strike. And Meteor, he's recleared some space at A, but the time is running down low. Left. If Gen G connect, if they commit onto this B, I mean, they're gonna run into a bunch of conflict. You got Benji Fishy who's holding mid as well, so if the plan is for Meteor to hit a, li a late mid lurk, Benji Fishy would have been the problem, but he's the first to fall. <laughs> Bomb's not down, 13 seconds left. They've got to commit, they've got to find a way to stabilize. Cauterize the bleed and capitalize on the situation. They're so weak, Dre. Balaki on the swing. Ow. 21 HP, no bullets left. They've gotten the spike down. Rianz is there. Munchkin, one HP. Can he be the architect to save the round? Can he put the pieces together? Can he build another clutch moment? Rianz and Wu with crosshairs trained will drop him. What a round for Team Heretics. Thrifty. The poise to just sit there and not get baited by the first tap. That attack had that molly the entire so now two rounds separating the two. Now it's on Gen G to try to replicate some of the magic that Heretics just hit him with. Just pistols. A good dink with the pistols on to Woot. He's gonna be forced back now, so that's some space gathered at B. He's still been quiet. But Heretics are in this fight in spite of that. Yeah. He did get two kills in that last round, so maybe that is enough to be that spark, that fuse of lightning. As I say that, it's texture to dip him again. Woot looked like he had the fastest hands in the game this tournament. There's nobody who could stand to him. Nobody quicker on the draw. We're watching an entirely different player here. Heretics will try to hold them back, though. A lot on the shoulders of Patatek. Rians around the corner. And the cutting of noise. Oh, yeah. Of course, Heretics Monster to think twice about this here. They've invested the thrash. Rians will get tagged. Pat attack up top. Can he find some space? Yes, he can. Only one kill found, though. How much more can he do? Not much. He will fall. They can't settle the shots. The sheriffs again are a problem. Boo in a 1v3. Munchkin has upgraded a weapon. But the amount of utility, the amount of health that they have in aggregate is so low. And that's a big delay from Boo. 13 seconds left, he's got to commit to it. He's got a firing squad around him. Secret service to protect. Mission accomplished. But now you hit phase two. Now you need to drop Boo. As he creeps forward, quietly slithering his way into the site with no one to detect, no one to delay. How much more space can he find? Utility cycled up, forced to sit back on the other side of the wall. And now he's spotted. Now they know where he is. He's able to spot one. The other two are weak. 40 HP amongst both. As Boo has to make a play. And it's a back-to-back -back MasterCard Thrifty. This one, the way of Genji. Genji, constant fire in the face of failure. Now, three rounds separating these two. Two rifles in the hand of Heretics. But Boo with no armor. Boo's already dead. The hopes of the round rests on porcelain prospects for heretics. The dash through, the flash over the top, the swing from texture is too damn clinical. And now they can turn their attention on getting the spike down. Now they can turn their attention on assuming their post plan positions. Just when it seems like heretics have a spark, just when it seems like they found some footing, the rug is pulled out of under them. But Rian's with that vandal, light armor, Making a run at this. He's gotten his one. Already tagged up, though. On the swing. Patatek getting in on it. We're going to have it again, aren't we? A 2v2. Parent spotted. Rians has to go, though. Trying to turn the flash. A great shot from Rians again. Can Munchkin clutch it out? He's gotten the shots on to open. It's another. Rians with four. The defuse comes through. Make that three. Back to back to back. This what a corner zone. Ooh, getting 
tagged by some of the utility, not able to take the aggressive line that we saw Texture strike from. But does he try once more? Not able to land the shots. Texture's blades. So accurate, so deadly. Now they've invested the Hunter's Fury as well. Lakia falls. Spike down Texture a. dancing around it, staying alive. Now a little bit of cover, a little bit of time, and a little bit of space. That doesn't feel good. Spike planted. Not enough to find a kill. How do heretics attempt this retake approach? Beautiful dagger. Who has an op? Oh, it's re ends again! Meteor creeping forward. You see them starting to take a quick step back. Carol probably has a lineup. Woods got the shot. Meteor's dead. Okay. But so is Woods. Last player standing. It's a 1v3 now. Who is able to get his one, but Benji Fishy stabilizes. Rin's the backbone of this roster. He's so clean on the Sova. Tool in their arsenal to play around. Who also one away from his pit. Knives traded and information gathered. Had a type of tag by that. Boots trying to be aggressive. He's trying to take a page out of Texture's book. What a shot. Almost got punished. 10 HP. You can't pen that your way. Not with what Texture could do. He continues to push forward, but Rien's and Benji Fishy hold the line. They stand strong. He's gone back side, though. The spike is out of reach, and now they've got the lockdown they have to reckon with. Easy does it, easy does it. Genji will have to take a step back. Wait this thing out. Now they go. Four up on the side of Heretics, but Boo's playing elsewhere. Concerned about the late flank. He needs to be careful here, Doug. He's playing a little too aggressive with this HP that he has, but he's living for long enough. Playing to win. Not playing not to lose. Playing on the knife's edge, Banji Fishy and Rians keep him back. Munchkin a 1v3, the situation was dire before, and it's somehow gotten worse. Heretic's knocking on the door, tying us at nine. And he's gonna have to save here, they have no money going into this next round. And while we have the time, I don't think Heretic's are gonna go for this hunt. Ten seconds left. Gen G had full control this round. They were surely about to convert it. But Munchkin hit a team flash on a two of the members that ran through that Viper wall. And that was the deciding factor to buy enough time for Rians to get out, for Benji Fishy to come back in. We'll see if we can take a look at it. Yeah, they've dropped a couple of maps, but they've looked unbeatable. At what point do Nightmares of Madrid creep up? Gotta wonder if it's happening now. Benji Fishy falls. Meteor's been so good. He's only got five HP to his name now. And he's stuck. He's got nowhere to go. The orb goes up as he tries to cross. But he plays this time perfectly. They thought he'd try to get away. They thought he was stuck. But in fact, the trap was his. Now a flash forward. Pat attack on the turn. That was ridiculous. Not able to steady the shot. So. Oh, yeah. Spike down A. This match is insane. If Meteor's able to buy his time, he could be the one to secure the round with the five HP that he's had for what feels like an eternity. Wait, Rians is actually dialed in on this. He's watching, he knows, he's ready. <laughs> Meteor's dead. But still a 2v2. Sova dart available. Munchkin, five HP. There's the dart. Revealing area. Them. What value can it find? Holy smokes! There was nothing to clear it! And so Munchkin pays for it with his life. Lockyer with a bulldog. In a 1v2. One he gets his one, but Rian's trades. On the other side of the timeout, Heretics still team. They don't even require full buys to make it close. Four in a row, the way of Heretics. I don't know, like, Sutan ten tends to watch this match. will only buy you so much time. Traded, of course. Venn diagram and green goo.
but Duck, there's so many ults available right now for the side of Heretics. They can create so much chaos right now. And it seems like they're succeeding in doing so. Texture's the first to fall. Pat attack. Uh, he knows he's there. Spotting the gun barrel. Blocking that is funny as shit. He was acting. Why can't I go through? Forward. In the face of the pin, in the face of five. Blowing he's half. Blown. And they're not done yet. Five in a row. Heretics with a two round lead. We've got a fight on our hands. Patient on the swing. Texture not able to punish. 20 and 15 from the star. Jeez. But the demand for more is so great. More than or remitted. This is a really nice position from Meteor, but he's got the alarm on the other side. It doesn't matter. Catches Benji Fishy with his pants down. Boo on the swing. Genji falls once more. But they've kept it competitive. They've gotten into a 2v3. Meteor's one away from his ult. Settles the shots on one. Too many targets on the other side. Munchkin. Forced to make a monumental play here. Does have the molly online, so if this tap comes through, we'll have to use that molly, and that will allow Heretics the opportunity to just swing together here. There's the tap. There's the molly. Boo and Rian's waiting for the challenge. The orb goes up. It's all a guessing game now. There's not a lot of time here. He's got to hold this. Oh. Is there enough time? It's going to be close. Oh, it's not point zero six. On the edge of their seats, Heretics take us to map point. An op in the hands of Woot. Still quiet, but honestly, at this point, who gives a damn? What a half from Heretics. Genji have a couple of tools, so they have Meteor's ult, they have Lockheed's ult. But if you're Heretics right now, you might read into this. They've gone B the last, what, three rounds in a row. And they've gotten stuff denied. Yeah, I, I think the interesting thing here, though, is Pat Attack, he's got his ult. Think about how many times we've seen it already. As soon as the Thrash goes down, Flashback. Pat Attack responds with his own. Exactly. And I wonder if that's what they're looking to bait out here. First to lockdown. We've seen him break this before. Is he going for it again? The Molly connects. Is the shot going to land? It breaks. And they still have the safety valve of Pat Attack's ult. Lockia hanging on to his for now. But understanding the game of rock, paper, scissors doesn't go your way. Spacing a little awkward there as Texture tries to find a little bit of room to work. A little bit of space to get active. But he will fall. The tap, the first. Almost all members huddled up onto the side for Heretics. Get him down to two. Can Munchkin deliver a miracle? He's been spotted. Wow. Heretics are not done yet. They push back. They counter on this. This is going to be a repeat. I can't watch it if it's a repeat. 